Hi, my name is Brad Morehouse, and I want to show you a perpetual motion free energy machine right here. I have decided to make this a public domain project. That means everybody in the world can use this for free. But first of all, I'd like to point out that it is not completed, but it will be completed soon. And after I point out some things to you, you will see that this is 100% um, viable. I'm sure you're checking out all the parts and what we've done here, like the timing belt and the gears. Okay, the way this works is these, are, these magnets are actually pushing each other is if you look down here, down here at this timing belt, right here, this is a timing belt. So what this does, it perfectly lines this up. Right here, this is called the resistance wheel, and this is called the non-resistance wheel. These are Neo magnets. This magnet right here is 115 pound and 115 pounds. So if you get two of them, that's about 200 pounds of pull or push. Push is a, a less factor than pull, but we'll get to that later. This wheel here moves this direction, as you can see. And the reason why it's shaking right now, it's getting caught on the magnetic pole on the side. It's actually shaking right now. On this side right here, it's pulling and it won't, it's got, a, I'm pushing pretty hard right here. And it's wanting to, to pull together right there. But once I get in the push factor right here, now it wants to take off like that which is really cool, see it bouncing again? So what we need to do is find a mu metal or magnetic shielding that goes around the sides of the magnet here. In this video, we're gonna show you how the magnetic shielding works and how we need your help. Okay, first of all, by looking at this right now, these two magnets here are pushing off of each other. Now, if I get into this position right now, it's like locked right there. These two, the edge of this magnet right here and the edge of this one right here, they're pulling together. But, and so when I'm pushing down, I'm pushing down with my hand right here. And right when I get to this position, they stop pulling and now they're in a push mode. I want to show you the difference between mu metal and non mu metal. And what I've done is I've, I've got this uh, plastic card here and I made marks on it. It's, it's like I could use a, um, a weight scale and push right here like that with a scale but I don't have one so I'm just using this card here for a strength test like this and, 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 and it's good I'll show you what I mean okay so for right now if you take a look at it right here these two magnets they're pulling right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and push right here and I'm gonna see this line right there that's for my finger so I'm gonna keep it to where I'm going to keep it just like that and I'm going to push so it's going to pull how much strength it's going to take to pull those magnets apart there we go now here we go it's about to break the card okay now let's do that with the magnetic shielding it's pretty ugly but I just duct taped it on there right there and it's right here I've had better systems than that but hey I'm just shooting a video right now Okay, let's do the same thing. Okay, with the magnetic shielding. Okay, now let's get it stuck where the magnets are, right there. Well, when I'm pulling, I mean, there's, with my finger, I can feel just a huge difference between without shielding. It's, it's, there's a lot of pull right there. And then when I get to the ones with the shielding, there's, there's hardly any pull. So, the proof is there that the shielding does work. There's a couple theories that, that are out there. Um, somebody said that if you take porcelain of some kind of clay porcelain and you put shredded nickel in it, and you mold that just the way the fragments the objective is mu metal is not to block magnetic fields it is to redirect them so if we can redirect it off to a different direction we're going to achieve what we want to achieve here and that's free energy 
The reason why this is an exceptionally better system is because we have 100% resistance pushing. So right here, this, this rod right here prevents this from moving. This will not move that way, but this one will move this way because it spins that way. These are really powerful magnets. Now, what would be nice is if we use like an 800 pound magnet, that'd be about you know, 1,600 pounds of that crush your hand. But right now we're just working with this. What I need from you is if anybody out there understands magnetic fields or magnetic shielding, we need help. Right now we've got new metal, which is this stuff right here, and it works. It's great. The problem is, is I took it all off and it was working almost, but it, otherwise I would have showed you that. The problem is, is we need somebody that has really good knowledge on magnetic shielding. Check out the email right here at the bottom of the screen. If anybody would like to donate to help me stop what I'm doing, because I'm like most of the people in the world where I have to work every day and, and I'm, I just don't have the funds right now because of the economy. But this is so important to the world to have free energy. We need this. And we went down the road of patents. We started doing that. If we create a patent on this, the only reason we're doing that is just to be greedy. And that's not, that's not why I, we call this Jeremiah 33.3. This is to give to the world, you know, to help the world, to hopefully get us out of these big oil wars. The other thing, too, is, is if I create a patent on this, the government is going to take me out. But right now, since I'm spreading this out to you, we've got this. We all have it. It's everybody's. The three ways you can help me is one, two, if you could donate money on the PayPal email right here, three, or buy one of my domain names and get something instead of just giving away money, you actually get something and I can, that money will help me to finish this. Thank you so much and I appreciate your time.